All right, welcome to the Adams family. Uh, this is our start of the week. Um, we are doing a little bit of an experiment here because for Mother's Day, I got Elena an Ancestry DNA kit, but I also got Amelia one too. The issue is that it wants you to spit into the tube a bunch, and that's kind of hard to do with a baby. Uh, but I found out online through a blogger uh, who will actually link below who we got the instructions through. Uh, but we followed her steps here. We've got everything and I'll link everything also as well so you can pull that up. Um, the first thing is saline spray, but she was saying that it needs to be uh, sterile. So no medication, no anything like that. We've got, you need only eight of these, but we got a tin thing. It's gum procs of brushes. Uh, you need a doses syringe of some sort. The uh, three disposable cups, distilled water, and a DNA kit. They said that you could do the 23andMe or the Ancestry. We like Ancestry, so that's what we went with. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So what's step one? Step one, go ahead and pour just a fair amount of distilled water into that cup. Second step is the nasal spray. Uh, So this is what gives it, it like gel consistency. Apparently the saline makes it lock the DNA in. I think that's way more. So that was, uh, I'm pretty sure way more than you needed because you only need nine or one milliliter of this. And then you need 99 milliliters of the distilled water. Uh, so will you pull? 99 milliliters and put that in there. I'll probably speed up this on the camera. Amelia! <laughs> So, did you add the one milliliter of the... No, wait, the, uh, there's no one milliliter on here. So, that's where you're going to have to guesstimate. There's no such thing as guesstimating. There's exact and wrong. Let me get the guesstimation then. What is that first one? Five, two point five? Two point five! That's what I'm saying! Okay. That's an awkward guesstimation. <laughs> So, sure. Got our mixture of 99 milliliters of distilled water and one milliliter of saline solution. We're gonna open up our DNA test. Yeah, if you want to open up. All right, guys. So this right here is the tube. This little spitter is, you're supposed to spit into this. It's actually got like a fake bottom, but you have to fill it up to this wavy length of spit. So what we're gonna do is take our mixture and just fill it slightly above that wavy line. And then we'll take the gum swabs, swab it in our mouth, put them in here, let it sit, and we'll keep swabbing until we do eight of them. Um, so we need to they said to go slightly above the wavy line. That's slightly above? Yeah. Alright, so now we're done with that. So all that for? All that for that little bit. Because the mixture had to be 99, I don't, I don't know. Science, I'm sure the other lady knows more about it. So let's start the swab process. So, swab, I can't speak into it. 
So you're just gonna stick in her mouth and swab her cheeks, get the like dead skin and the DNA off her cheeks. You're gonna love this. Oh, she's gonna love it. Okay, ready? Hi. Okay, is that good? Uh, do a little bit more. Hi. <laughs> the. And this happened before. The child's probably not gonna like it. Oh, there's slime on there. Uh-huh. You're supposed to do this like eight times? Eight times. So go ahead and start the next one. Great. Okay, so guys, if uh, if you're doing this with your child, our child did not appreciate these swabs at all. Um, Eleanor is finishing up the last one, letting it soak in here. So it should be eight of these gum brushes, but the gum brushes, um, they're, they're kind of, they're, they're brushes, right? So they're, they're prickly. Our child did not appreciate that. So she's got a little bit of crocodile tears. I'm sorry, honey. But the solution, the last one should be soaking in now. The last one soaking in the solution, you should see bubbles. I, I see bubbles and particles, which hopefully are the DNA, and kind of looks like spit. So the normal test is you spit in this tube, and then you put this, uh, well, you take this cap off, and then this cap you turn and twist on here. At the top, there's more fluid. Now when you twist it hard enough, it breaks the, uh, I guess it's like a maybe a sealant for the DNA itself to keep it storage. Man, that's tough. What's going on? There it goes. Shake, 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 shake that solution. Shake the solution. Shake, shake, shake. Leave that in there. Yep. Let's just go in there like that. So they give you a pouch. You stick your tube into the pouch. Stick your. All right, cutting that part out. There's an activation code on the back there. Uh, if you forget that it's on the tube, just input that off your sheet. So you want to keep that sheet available. So we'll go ahead and pull that bad boy off, seal it up. We'll put it in the box, seal it. And it takes like, it took hers a while. So hers are already complete. It took like six weeks. So it takes a while once you send it in in the mail. Um, so hopefully this process actually worked. We won't know until, hi, hi, hi. We won't know until uh, the six weeks has passed if it worked or not. So I'm not sure if they'll send us another kit or if we have to pay for another one. Hopefully we don't have to pay for another one because they're not, these are not cheap at all. Um, I got these on a, on a deal day. But, so we're going to go ahead and mail that off. Next, uh, we had storms that came through and kind of knocked out power and everything like that. So I'll show you guys clips of that coming up. Here we go. The storm is hitting. Uh, it's supposed to be like 50, 60 knot winds. But, we'll see there's a actual tornado that is like cycloning over a town close by. But it should miss us. So it should just be uh, this these winds and rain. Day two of storms. Power went out for like four hours last night. Uh, super fun time. Kind of expecting the power to go out again. Like 10,000 people in the neighborhood lost their power. Didn't come back on until like 4 a.m. We actually uh, ended up going and sitting in our van and Eleanor charging our phones and everything, so hopefully we don't have to do that again. But here it is.
Here's the backyard, uh, still storming. You can see it coming sideways. Luckily we have like a barrier of these trees and they all kind of grow facing into the wind. I, I, think, I think they're either growing into the sunlight or they're actually bracing for this because we usually always get storms hitting us from this side. <laughs> all right guys, so as you saw, we had that great storm. Uh, thanks for watching. We got everything cleaned up. Amelia is just fine. I know she had some moments, so we got her some food. She's doing great. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great, great week. Please like and subscribe. I know you can't probably comment anymore because of this little one being on the videos. YouTube has a thing where they disable the comments. Uh, but we really appreciate those likes. Um, as well as, I'll throw in here a little snippet. I got some pretty big news for myself. Uh, I actually got into a military school that will allow me to progress further in my career and job. So that'll be coming up in the coming months. So we'll see what we do there if we're able to film, but it's three months long. Um, not this weekend, but the following weekend will be the 4th of July and we have really cool things planned. So stick around. Bye!